Feeling falls into the third pair of those MBTI personalities, and it's part of what we call the functioning pair. And this third preference pair really describes how an individual likes to make their decisions. So a feeling personality is going to put more weight on personal concerns, values, goals, um, and people. And it also comprises about 59.8% of our population. So you're tending to tend to run into more feeling type personalities within a traditional classroom or within a group of people than you will thinking personalities. When we look at our feeling person, we need to remember that their keyword is personal. Feeling personal, very much so. They're going to rely on the aesthetics and those five um, senses. They want to also be able to answer the question while learning of how will this help me to help others. They are really interested in information that's going to aid people they know directly, so their personal relationships, their family, their community, and the world at whole. They're going to be very sensitive to the needs of those that are around them. Some of these best instructional strategies to aid a feeling personality type is aesthetics. They want to be able to sit and to enjoy a space. They're not going to probably seek out a place to study that is going to be completely devoid of any aesthetics, such as a study carol in the library. They really want to be able to have a beautiful area. They love to have a close relationship and they need it not just with their peers and their classmates, but they also really require that close relationship with their instructor. So when you find a feeling person, be sure that you reach out to them and create some kind of connection with them. They love cooperation. Cooperation is extremely important to them because a feeling individual and a feeling personality is based upon harmony. Their foundation for their entire personality time is harmony. And that's because they um, really don't do well in any kind of competitive circumstance. So when you're looking at that discussion piece, they do enjoy discussing things with other people as long as it doesn't get heated and that you can still base that discussion on harmony. They love emotion. So when you engage emotions within a learning experience, they're going to be able to integrate them closer into themselves and especially when you can use some emotions and examples put together. As we move forward, remember that they do like group activities and they love to work with a lot of people. A feeling person really enjoys to make as many connections as they can. They like to be with people. They love the idea of understanding and learning about the values of others. They like a moderate pace of instruction and they like to work with partnerships. Positive feedback is extremely important for a feeling person. They do not do well with any kind of criticism. They really struggle with it because again, they love that feeling, that harmony part of their personality. They're going to look for patterns within information and relationships, and they really enjoy any kind of teamwork activities, and especially those teamwork bonding kind of activities. Those are of a great asset to them within a learning environment.